When hurricanes march towards central Florida, some of our neighbors need extra help staying safe. And that's why emergency managers in Seminole County are taking part in a two day exercise centered on setting up medically enhanced shelters. First warning meteorologist Alex Alisi shows us what it takes. When tropical systems threaten central Florida, emergency managers spring into action, bringing trailers like this to turn normal elementary schools into medically enhanced shelters. Unlike a general population shelter, um, that is the focus of a special needs shelter is that we have all of the devices and equipment that clients need to sustain so that in, in the event that anything happens, um, the continuity of care, we continue with that. And for patients who rely on medical equipment to sustain their life, having the power go out is not an option. Duke Energy considers this just the same as a hospital because the people that are here uh, are acute care. They are people that require a machine to run their life, to, to continue their life. So if they lose power for any length of time, and their batteries are only going to last for so long, um, this is the place they need to go, or a place like this. And within just hours, an elementary school cafeteria like this can be transformed with cots and other medical equipment to provide medical services to evacuees who need it. Eight hours for a prep, about eight hours to evacuate Seminole County uh, before tropical storm force winds. And if you are worried about COVID, flu, or other diseases, there is a plan in place. If an individual knows that they're sick prior to, we're going to try to find them another type of shelter to get to. But if they don't know, which happens, they arrive here, uh, they're not feeling bad, but uh, they're also not feeling great. They, they go get a test because we'll have tests available here. It comes back positive. Every single shelter now in Seminole County has an isolation wing, so we'll place them in the isolation wing. And remember, if you or a loved one would be in need of a medically enhanced shelter like this, you're encouraged to pre-register on prepareseminole.org. Reporting in Seminole County, Alex Alisi, West 2 News.